What's up, everyone? Today we're going to be putting together a custom guitar for a band called Manic Hispanic. And uh, this is actually a collab guitar. Um, I've done a lot of tech work for the guitar player. And um, it's been amazing to work with him and work on uh, all his crazy ass guitars that he has. They're so expensive and sick. And um, they actually gave away a guitar at their last show at Punk in the Park. And uh, it gave me the idea to um, hit them up and tell them uh, if they're down to do a collab. So um, luckily they were up for it and I was super stoked and I started buying all the parts. We kind of chose what the body and the neck was going to be. And now we have everything. So we're going to put it all together. We have a um, Mercury body with a Fender bridge, uh, brass saddles, a Seymour Duncan Little 59, as well as uh, blocking tuners and all the necessary hardware and electronics that need to go on there, as well as this neck. So I'm going to uh, cut this neck into a tally neck, and then we're going to go from there and um, just throw it all together. And we're actually having some sick ass artwork done by Louie, uh, one of the singers, and he's going to be doing the pick guard, um, which is actually pretty, uh, pretty cool. It's going to be a Esquire style Telecaster, so there's no neck pickup. So I'm super stoked on how the design's going to come out. And um, yeah, I hope you guys dig this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs> Check it out. It looks all freaking funky right now. <laughs> Gotta just remove a bunch of the bulk down there. Yeah, then we can start sanding it. One thing I tried to avoid when doing this is getting that burn. Sometimes it's just inevitable. It just happens, so um, right here, Got a majority of it off, so there. But now we gotta do this little part here. I wanna get this a little bit more clear here. Maybe dip in here, go from there. All right, guys, it's time to sand. This process is kind of tedious, so bear with me. I'm gonna do some fast forward here, but um, here we go. A little bit of a technical difficulty there, so I had to put a fucking washer on here. I completely forgot. Um, I'm borrowing this from work, so um, it didn't have it with it. And uh, it's been a while since I used this style before. I'm used to using larger ones. So, yeah, we just put a washer on there. And let's go. guard back that shit came off fucking awesome so we're gonna throw it on the tally and see how it looks perfect freaking perfect man put these screws on there real quick All right, all we got next is to do the electronics, which I'm gonna time lapse, and it's done.
Alright guys, we just got the decal in. Look how freaking sick that is. And then we have the Jake guitar tech that's going to go at the very top of the headstock. Man, I'm stoked. So this is the last part of this guitar. And then it's going to be ready to rock. I'm going to show you guys how it sounds and how it looks. Alright everyone, so this is the last step. We're going to put the decals on there. It's going to be awesome. Check it out. Yeah, <laughs> that looks great. All right, guys, and so we have the final part here. Put the Jake Guitar Tech signature on the top. This is exciting. All right. All right, everyone, the guitar is now ready to rock and roll. I'm super excited on how it came out. We got the custom decals, locking tuners, rosewood fretboard, maple neck, custom pick guard done by Louie, the singer, came out awesome. We have a Fender bridge with brass saddles, a Seymour Duncan Little 59 with some killer electronics configuration. So we got a tone, a volume, and this three-way switch, but when you're on the down position, it's in parallel. Then we got series in the middle position, and then on this top one, we're actually splitting this mini humbucker in, into uh, basically one. So you can get some awesome classic tally sounds with it. Super, super cool. I'm excited for whoever gets this guitar and is able to jam with it. Um, before I end this video, I want to send a huge thank you to Elvis and the Manic Hispanic team for freaking allowing me to do this for them. Um, this was an idea that came up at Punk in the Park. I was teching for them, and... Um, now that it's finally here, fuck, it's it's something else. It just sounds like a beast. And I uh, actually made a song for you guys to check out. So um, hope you dig it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.